Hi guys, hi, how's it going? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my August haul in retrospect. This is a series on my channel in which I come back to you and talk to you about the products that I hauled into my collection a year ago this month. So I got this idea actually because my friend JC talked to me, um, she watches my videos and she said, you never come back and tell us about the items that you hauled, which at that point in time I didn't. So I have been on a, 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 you know, a hard challenge over the last year to make sure that I come back to you and talk to you about all the things that I hold into my collection. And then in the meantime, uh, Lauren May Beauty is a channel that I watch quite often. She calls them Holes in Retrospect. And I think that that was really smart. And so I, you know, let her know in her comment section that I love the idea of this and would probably start using it if that was okay with her. Um, with that said, this is just about coming back to you and talking to you about the products that I hauled into my collection last year. I hope that that sounds like something that you're interested in. And if it does, please keep on watching. For those of you new here, hi, welcome to our channel here. My name is Donna. I'm so, so happy to have you here. I'm a lover of all things high-end, colorful beauty and self-care. I like to talk about makeup to you because I have nobody else in my life who enjoys talking about makeup. So I opened up my life to you on the internet and I have come here to make friends, make makeup friends with everybody out here. And I hope that you'll find that this is a fantastic place to be and that you'll want to subscribe before you go. I'm kind of a kick in the pants to hang out with and I also work at Ulta Beauty as a district leader and I bring you all the educational pieces that I get about the brands and I hope that you love that too. I'm kind of like a makeup commentary channel or at least that's where I see myself going. I don't like typically do like tutorials, reviews, get ready with me, those kind of things, but those are occasional here on this channel. So I do hope that you'll want to subscribe before you go. And with that said, let's roll into this. I don't have a whole lot to talk to you about for August of 2020. I didn't bring in a whole lot. I think in anticipation of my birthday month in September, I typically haul in quite a bit in September. There's thought to be quick or as quick as I can make it anyway. <laughs> so let's roll into that. So in August, there wasn't very much that I hauled in. Again, as I said in the intro, probably in anticipation of my birthday month coming and I knew I'd haul in a bunch then. So there was only a few things that I hauled in, a few things to go over with you, and I think that I can make this pretty quick. First and foremost, uh, well, the first thing on my list were these, and these are the ABH Mini Pro Pigment Palettes Volume uh, 2 and 3 from the Novena Collection. These were palettes I got on a sale. They were $14 a piece at the time that I purchased them, and I have done a palette roulette video on both of these palettes that I will stick up in the cards for you so that you guys can see my overall thoughts of these palettes. I really did enjoy my time using these palettes. I had a little bit of trouble with the color story in this one, but it was a lot of fun to use. The shadows blend very, very well, and I'm happy to say that these have not been palettes that have stuck around in my collection for the last year and haven't seen any usage, which has happened here in these um, retrospect videos that I've been doing. So I, I am really happy to have those as part of my collection. This one especially, I mean, look at the packaging on this one. Isn't it just adorable? It kind of reminds me of the Marc Jacobs collection that came around holiday last year, I do believe. This was out first. So then I also brought in these Fenty Snap Shadows and I did get um, number 10 and number four. So this is what 10 looks like. It's green. And this is what four looks like. And it's rose. This one is called Money and this one is indeed called Rose. And I also did a palette roulette on these shadows. And I will link that up in the cards as well for you at some point in this video for you to go watch my overall thoughts and opinions on these palettes. I didn't like these palettes. I did not have a good time with them. I don't think that they're very well made. And I had heard that actually about Fenty Shadows prior to purchasing these. But I had heard that about the Fenty Shadows in like the Moroccan Spice palette, the big palette. And I thought that maybe she had learned a lesson and made these better. They're not, they're not great. I would never suggest these. Whereas these, I would suggest a hundred thousand times. These, I, I just wouldn't. I can see these being items in my collection 
that I would just honestly declutter. The next items I had were these and these were the Fenty matchsticks. I did bring um, one of these sets in as well. This was also on sale at Sephora when I purchased everything else. And these were on sale for I think $17.50 versus the $37.50 that they typically cost. I believe don't quote me but I got the tr medium trio I think and it has amber linen and starstruck which are like basically a contour a brightener and a kind of like glowy blush I have used these I pulled them in to a uh, shop my stash but also um, just I've used them because they're just beautiful and this starstruck is more of a highlighter in my opinion I should probably move it into the highlighting drawer in my collection but I just haven't done it because I do wear it more as like a glowy blush topper but those are them I think that of the shadows or I mean of the shades the starstruck shade is probably my least used I don't really get along with it a whole hell of a lot but I love this contour shade this contour shade is pretty perfect for my skin tone it's got enough cool in it that it is just like a true contour shade for me so I really do like those really happy that I brought those into my collection I could do without the starstruck shade but to get them all three in a bundle it really wasn't all that expensive and I'm not sorry that I did it next is the buxom lip glosses so I did purchase three um, in the month of August I purchased Sarah which is this guy here just a really pretty um, like pinky nude shade and then I also purchased Autumn which was part of their fall lineup it is a beautiful lip polish that is really sparkly really beautiful buxom is my favorite lip glosses so I'm never going to regret owning them if I'm honest and then this one is a full-on lip cream and it is in pumpkin spice and this one I think is probably the least used but I don't think it's least used because of its color because it really is a beautiful like brownie nude shade that looks really good on my lips it's just the least used I only wear like brownie tones in the fall time for the most part so I did utilize this throughout fall and then just kind of put it away but these two I have utilized over and over again since fall what I love about these two so the pumpkin spice and the autumn one is they have a really nice like apple cider scent to them yeah versus the regular like minty vanilla scent that you get in the regular line I own so many buxom lip lip glosses they're just they're just really good glosses and um, the next one I have was this one and this is a Zoeva lip gloss this is a, a melody lip gloss I believe all the writing on the tube is worn off because I've used it that much and this is in radiant flight this is such a beautiful gloss it has like this kind of like pinky nude but also silver look to it I mean yes it's so pretty such a beautiful gloss it's not sticky it doesn't cause like spit strindles in between your lips when your lips are moving together when you're talking um it's just a really pretty gloss so also not unhappy I brought that into my collection so in addition to that Zoeva lip gloss I also bought two Zoeva lip liners now I like these liners for their creaminess for their sharpenability because they are pencils so they sharpen I I like that they haven't like dried out what I don't like is I just think that when I was looking at that because I did buy all this Ulta stuff online I don't think that I was looking at the colors of them very well this one is is a pretty good color but I'm noticing that it's not as complimentary to my skin tone as I had thought it would be and this one over here is just way too light I have used this one maybe twice in the last year this one is currently in my shop my stash so I have been using it a lot lately as a matter of fact it is what is on my lips today um, I do think that it is complimentary to a point but I also think that 
it leans a, a different kind of tone than I initially anticipated it would. And sometimes with certain eye looks, it just looks stupid on my lips. So I think I would love this, this pencil specifically if it were different colors. Like I would love to try different colors, but this one I for sure picked the wrong color. But you guys can see just just based on size, like one of them gets more use than the other. The other one I think I just picked the wrong color for me. The colors that I do have are um, Eternal Brightness, which is the one that I hardly ever use, and Earthbound. Earthbound is um, really a, a pretty pinky brown, and I wish it was either leaned more pink or leaned more brown. Um, but the pinky brown that it is, I don't, I mean, you guys tell me it is what's on my lips today. I do like it. I, I do wear it often. I just don't think that it is the most complimentary to my skin tone. I also bought some Juvia's Place items. I bought the Juvia's Place lip liner in Love Me and I bought a lipstick from them in a mauve moment. This was an impulse purchase in the store. I was kind of talked into it by my arch expert. I kind of looked at the um, lipstick and was like, wow, that's a really interesting shape because it definitely is a very interesting shape. It's kind of triangular and looks very intriguing, right? Um, I just don't know that I love this shade on me. Again, this is, you know, kind of in between pink and brown, but leans not too pink and not too brown. So it's just kind of this color that I don't feel like complements my skin very much. But then again, I am one of those people that thinks that I don't look very good in pinks and a lot of people think that I do. The lip pencil is the same shade, so it goes very well with that lipstick. But because I don't wear the lipstick very often, I also don't wear the lip liner very often. I have worn both, but I have to be honest, it's not been very much, probably you know, once or twice in the last year, I could, and lips isn't like my, my bag. I could probably wear this lip liner more. Maybe I should put it into a shop, my stash. I'm just not a lipstick person. So why I bought a lipstick, I will never know. I mean, it's okay. It's not something that I 100% love that I brought into my collection. What I will say about the lipstick is it is really super creamy. It's it, it feels beautiful on your lips and it wears away really, really nicely. That much I remember about it. Um, it doesn't create like, you know, the nastiness that happens with your lips when your lipstick starts to wear away there in the center with your mouth moving. The next two things are these. I did pick up the Belgian Waffle Weekend Vibes BH Cosmetics like um, bronzer palette. And then this one is Bellini, which is the blush palette. And as much as I talked about these blushes being right up my alley for the Bellini palette, I think I have not even used this. I have not even used this blush palette. I love these shades though. So I, I don't know. I need to pull it into a shop my stash as well because I do know I love these shades and maybe more uh, fall time would be the perfect time to pull these in because I haven't used this blush palette. This palette, however, I have used and I have to be honest, I don't really 100% love it. It was in a shop my stash. I think my first shop my stash maybe it was in. Is it not going to focus? Um, this is way too orange for my skin tone. These three um, work quite well, but this is like a it's a, it's a banana powder almost. It's it's a it's a powder, a matte powder. Like I don't quite understand the usage of this guy. So this doesn't get used, and this doesn't get used. These two, one is a little bit too orange, and one of them is a little bit too patchy in my opinion. So like, there's two powders in here that I loved, and then the other four. I did not love and that goes to show why you don't need to have face palettes in your collection and why I'm trying not to have face palettes in my collection but this was kind of a bust for me I kind of wish I hadn't picked it up and then I also picked up a EOS shave cream that much or that month and Obviously, I've used that. It's now gone. Um, I picked up a Lime Crime Liquid Shadow. This was, again, a purchase that was kind of impulsory. It was on the sale 
racks at my local Ulta and I picked it up because I had never tried Lime Crime. I think it's dried up in here because it doesn't really move around and I haven't even opened it and it's kind of like settled to the bottom. I should open it. I shouldn't open it if I don't think I'm gonna use it, but I would love to know if it's dried up or no. It's definitely dried up. How sad is that? I'm glad that I, I mean, that's it right there. It's pretty, but I don't, I use liquid eyeshadows so infrequently that, yeah, that's pretty dried up. Um, so that'll probably go into declutter very, very soon. Um, I just, I purchased it. It was impulse. I think it cost me like four bucks. So I'm glad it only cost me four bucks. Last but not least. Oh my gosh, I'm just dropping everything. I also purchased a bunch of these guys. So they, these are the KVD Super Brows. And I purchased this for a reason. There was like some eye looks that I was looking to do to create for like collabs that I had going on. And I knew I was going to do some collabs over the winter as well. And I wanted some really cool eyeliners. And when I looked up liquid eyeliners to purchase that were colors, I got the NYX ones, which I think are trash, honestly. I've used them and I think they're trash. And I got the ColourPop ones, which I ended up purchasing, which are, are decent. They're, they're not amazing, but they're decent. And then these also popped up. And when I first looked at them, I'm like, those are brow products. But then as I got to looking at them more, like people also use them as eyeliner because they're waterproof, you guys. And y'all know, if you're familiar with my channel, that I have this wonky eye that waters all the time and eyeliner never wants to stay put. So... I purchased all of these and I just, I dropped like three of them on the floor in the month of August for eyeliner purposes, but they're in my brow category. <laughs> um, and I've used them. I've used them all. The great thing about it is that like this white one, you can mix with any color and make any color you want to. So if I want pink, I can just mix the two together and I can get the exact color of pink that I want. So you have to like play chemistry a little bit with them, but I do love these and I'm so so happy to have them in my collection. Um, throughout the month of August I also got some free product with purchase but I also got some product from my um, benefit business partner that I got in gratis right so um, one of the free gifts with purchase was a mascara from BH and it was BH Stellar Lash and that came as a free gift with purchase for these guys. I used it. I didn't mind it. It wasn't a horrible mascara. I think I utilized it in a Simply Sample series and I will try and link that Simply Samples video if I can find it up in the cards for you so that you guys can go back and see my thoughts on that mascara. It wasn't horrible. It also wasn't amazing and I don't ever buy full-size mascaras. I also got the Zoeva Strobe palette. This is a highlighting palette for purchasing the Zoeva items that I did. So the two lip liners and the lip gloss that I purchased from Zoeva. I did end up getting this free gift with purchase from Ulta Beauty and it is like I said a highlighter palette and I haven't even used it. So this is the month or the month after Ulta Beauty started carrying KVD and with that we got some gratis uh, at our stores from KVD and they were the Go Big or Go Home mascara and the KVD tattoo eyeliner. It is one of my favorite eyeliners now that I have used it and realize its potency and its capability of staying on your eyes even when your eye waters like a crazy beast. And then this mascara, I haven't even tried it. It's still in its box. I haven't even tried it because I have way too many mascaras. I told you that I got some stuff from my benefit business partner and some of those things that I got from her were uh, the microfilling brow pen and I thought I still had that here. So this is actually not the one that she gave me but this is the one that I purchased after that one was dried out. I actually quite love this microfilling brow pen. I think that it 
does want it's not quite open yet so I don't want to open it because I don't want it to dry out um but it does quite well it's got three little like prongs on the nub and it doesn't clog up like many other brow pens that I've used like that do so I actually quite love that I also got illuminating primer so the professional pearl I love that primer I don't have it anymore and I think I gave it to my mom because I knew that it was readily available to me and I had a full-size one that I was currently using when I got this in gratis so I gave that one to my mom and I do have another one uh, another like sample size one as backup I just purchased you guys probably saw that haul and then I also got these three things so Bag Yal Bing is my favorite mascara but as you can see, it's still in its box. I haven't opened it up because, again, I have way too many mascaras and I haven't had a chance to use it. She also gave me Tickle and Hula. So, Tickle, <laughs> not used. Hula, not used. You guys, I, I have tickle in a face palette from Benefit that I purchased so I probably won't use the single one because I have it in a face palette and I have Hula three times over. This is like in my giveaway drawers but I have one in my backup drawers and one in my regular drawer so like I don't and and one in that palette that includes tickle so I don't need another Hula. I also in that month purchased that guy right there the candle holder that everybody loves I got it from Bath and Body Works it was on sale it was fifty dollars for a candle holder <laughs> but I love that thing and I love having it in my background and you guys love that thing so I can't be unhappy about having it in my collection um, but that was everything that I picked up in the month of August I am happy to report that I have used almost every single one of these items. Um, that makes me happy because you guys know the last one that I just put, I think the thumbnail said I'm so disappointed or disappointing or something like that because I hadn't used hardly any of those items that we talked about and they'd been in my collection for a year and that's just disgusting <laughs> in my opinion. So with that said, that is what I have for you today. That is my August haul in retrospect. What did you guys haul last August that you maybe haven't used? Or what did you haul last August that you use every single day all the dang time? I don't think there's anything in this pile that I use every single day all the dang time. But I'm really happy to say, like I said, that I have used 90% of these items. So well, we can check a box for August job well done. I've used some of my products. What? What? I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope that if you did, you're considering giving a big thumbs up. It really does help our channel out here. And if you didn't, thumbs it down. Let me know what I can do to change it for you. Change your mind. Um, I hope that you guys liked it or me enough that you're considering subscribing before you go. I would really love to welcome you into my family here. I hope that August is treating you all kindly and that 2021 is being as kind to you as can possibly be done in 2021. We've had a rough couple of years, but I do hope that you and yours are doing well and that you're staying healthy and that you all are loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, bye friends.